Welcome back to the coolest channel on YouTube, man. Hopefully y'all been having a good time, man. I got a dope lineup for y'all today, man. But do me one favor. Make sure y'all smash that like button. Share these videos with your friends and family, man. Y'all know how we do. Good vibes only. Just know if you're going through tough times, we're going through this thing called life together, people. Positive vibes only. Let's get it. And don't forget, you know what I'm saying? Uh, all you got to do, subscribe to the channel, man. Show support, comment, everything like that. You got a chance to win these gold bags. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely doing a gold bag giveaway this month right here. So make sure y'all in contention to uh, be in this raffle, man, for the, for the gold bags, people. But look, I'm be doing that live. You know what I'm saying? Giving out these gold bags. Uh, but look, man, share these videos, subscribe to my channel, and I got you. Let's get it. Tablets of Thoth, which date back over 36,000 years. The opening scene in the Emerald Tablets, he's told by his father, who's actually Enki, was to go to the land of Cam and help re-kickstart civilization because there was a great flood. So Thoth goes there, he takes a crew with him. Several generations have gone by and the people have become barbaric again. They have lost their technology, their high civilization. So when he opens his door to his ship and his crew walks out with him, these barbarians come to attack him. He raises his staff and he sends out a ray of vibration which actually freezes them. So he has a stun gun or a stun weapon 36,000 years ago. And then he sort of talked to these people about, I'm here to, to help you and raise you up to a high level of civilization. So once they did that there and, and re-kickstarted civilization, he told his crew, spread out around the planet. This is why everything is the same. And when you look into a lot of the space probe data that we have, you can see anomalies in space and on, on other planets like the moon and Mars that resemble ancient structures that we have in Peru and, and Egypt. All these similarities can't be coincident. The video is not. You can see it in the video. Like, that's UFO. Oh, I don't know, for real, folks. What is this going across the sky? All right, y'all. Y'all don't be uh, freaked out by these, especially these ones going in a straight line. That's Starlink. For sure. I seen it the other night. The world is glitched. That's a train somewhere. There is a... It looks like a There is a... There is a... There is a... There is a... But... UFO. It's like a... It's, <laughs> no, 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 it's no. beautiful, but it looks like... Seriously, what is It's a is dragon. That? It's a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what It's a straight line. Mm -hmm. And it's slow. UFO. You, 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 you. There it go. Into the tree. Can you see them? even had wings. Think about it. They even came down, bro, with information and everything. He said they was going to upgrade us. You know what I'm saying? Just go back and do your research. Read those tablets. Read the books. Everything, man. They got translations for stuff to, you know, decode it as best as possible that makes sense to you, man. It's out there. Talk. Now put your hand on the Bible. Swear to God, you walked on the moon. Mr. Sarah, yeah. knowing you, that's probably a fake Bible. Really? Well, no, it's a real Bible. Yeah. You have the opportunity to have $5,000. The meeting is not open. Well, you have $5,000 cash. You can give it to charity if you swear on the Bible that you yes. walked on the moon. Please I have a tape. It'll be fine. Why don't you I swear won't. to. Why not? Why won't you do it? So why don't you put your hand on the Bible and swear to God that you walked yeah, on the moon? Mr. Cyborg has made a fool of himself in front of the world. Mr. They're faking a shot of being halfway to the moon. And they refer to you on the tape as a shot that was done during Apollo 10, where you put a transparency over the window and move the camera of the Earth and move the camera back away from the window, turn off the lights in the spacecraft, and appeared to be halfway to the moon when in fact they were in Earth orbit. Huh, really? Yeah, and they said it was the same way that you did it on Apollo 10. So we wanted to give you the opportunity to put your left hand on the Bible, to raise your right hand, to swear to God, <laughs> well, you were given the opportunity to swear to God 
under oath that he walked on the moon. I don't do it. Well, if you really ah, walk on the moon, it's the problem of swearing to God that you did it. Do you believe in God? You want me to not do it again? Well, I want you to I want you to swear to God in the Bible that you walked on the moon. If you walked on the moon, you're given the opportunity to swear to God that you walked on the moon. I'm going to give you the opportunity to get the hell back out of you and leave you alone. Hey, granddad said gonna knock the hell out you, man, about this moon landing. Well, yeah, people come yeah, out and they just they've run out of anecdotes, you know, yeah. and they and uh, and they just start making stuff up. Yeah, like that Neil Armstrong guy. Have you seen him on the talk shows? Neil Armstrong, you mean the first man to walk on the moon? Talk about a fish story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, and they're buying it. Oh, yeah. 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 Look at that fake laugh. Yeah. He knows it to be true, too. What they don't want you to know. Looks just like the hair on our heads today. So if anybody tries to tell you that Egypt is a white civilization, you can point out this hair. So those of you who have your cameras, you want to make sure you take a good picture of it. But this is what Gaston, Gaston Maspero, an Egyptologist, said about the hair in the uh, Nile in Egypt. He says, the hair was inclined to be wavy and even to curl into little ringlets, but without ever turning into the wool of the Negro. But take a look at that hair. It looks like the wool, looks like wool, doesn't it? This is a picture of the hair that's on a figure that was found. So you can see what the person looks like and what the hair looks like. Message. There's a profound difference between Kemet and Egypt. Egypt is a Greek word that was used to describe one temple in Kemet. And so Kemet was ruled by indigenous African people. Egypt was ruled by Greeks for approximately 600 years. So if you look at that image uh, on the screen, you can see nine African rulers of Kemet and three European rulers of Egypt. If you read what the Greeks said, not what we think, but if you read what the Greeks said, they got everything from Egypt. They got all their knowledge from Egypt. Pythagoras spent 15 years in Egypt. And what did he have to do? He probably had to spend five years convincing them that he was worthy to get the knowledge that they had. And the Greeks did this. And they said that they got all their knowledge from the Egyptians. Remember, knowledge was power. Knowledge was sacred. Knowledge was something you just didn't publish in the newspapers. Knowledge was guarded very closely because it was of tremendous value. You wouldn't give it to anybody. Now, when did we come up with the idea that the Greeks created everything from scratch? It happened in the 18th and 19th century. And in the 18th and 19th century, it was decided that it was just not appropriate for all this knowledge to come from an African country. So if you didn't know, in order for these elites to control an entire planet, they have to show us how they're controlling us. Because if they don't, it'll interfere with the Galactic Federation of Light, which is very right, right, much right. real. Oppressors literally have to know the ins and outs of our entire universe and how things work in our universe. And they also have to know what the fullest potential is of a human being. They have to know these things because if they didn't, they wouldn't have been able to control us for thousands of years. Do me a favor and read this real quick. It is a universal law that you cannot manipulate a planet without the inhabitants, us, knowing it. This is why the elite control Hollywood hide messages in plain sight. These entities believe that by subliminally telling us what they're doing through media, we consent by not rejecting it. We take it as jokes or entertainment, while it is in fact a message from the hidden hand, which we can use to decipher their plans. Hint, hint, The Simpsons and so many more movies. Hmm. Hey, real talk, you see The Simpsons, bro, all the time. Look, they didn't dropped a lot of stuff that was like, that came true. And then do y'all always see the unmasking? I was just talking about this with my cuz. Like, he be making these comp compilations for me now, right? And um, and we noticed like they always have like a, a reptilian face when they un unmask something or something like that. How y'all feel about that? They've been telling us the whole time that a lot of these people ain't who they say they are.
Well, the Emerald well. Tablets were a writing that were authored directly by Thoth himself. In other words, he didn't have a scribe write these. He wrote them himself, which is kind of unique for back in those times. They were usually a god or a king. They would have a scribe do all the writing. These right. he authored. Uh, he said that he was leaving these behind to guide mankind to back into the golden age, basically, back into the light. I know something that we truly need to discuss. The Mandela Effect. There's been conspiracy saying that in 2012 we first switched universes and that's when our first set of Mandela Effects occurred, at least for this universe. And then July 4th, 2022, when CERN turned on its most powerful accelerator, LAC, they said that that caused the Mandela Effect once again. And for the people who don't know what the Mandela Effect is, the Mandela Effect is where a large group of people, a large sum of people remember something being one way, but it's actually another. Or at least that's what they want us to believe. But there's just no way that it's a coincidence that millions and millions of people remember certain things being one way. Let's get to the examples real quick. First, you got Kit Kat. On the right, they say that's how it is. On the left, that's how people remember it being. But the problem is, they are saying that it was never like it was on the left. No way. But someone found the image of Kit Kat actually having the dash in between it. Then you got Chick-fil-A. And don't even get me started on Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Chick-fil-A did not have the K at first what made chick-fil-a so unique that what do y'all remember yo do you remember with the c or the k i want i'm interested to see what y'all gonna say in the comments down below for this one right here i remember it being just with the c who remember the k man let me know if you remember the k and uh, like like when did that come about like it, it was with the c bro i ain't tripping but it didn't have the k and now you're telling me that it had the k all along it's crazy and you have pikachu Coming from someone who well, watched Pokemon real. when he was younger, without a doubt, Pikachu had the black tip at the back of his tail, but they saying that he never had that. Crazy, right? And of course, one of the biggest Mandela effects ever, the Mona Lisa. Now this one. I swear when I was younger, the Mona Lisa did not smile, but that may just be me. No, it's not just me. They tripping. But Lil Wayne do got the lyric, Mona Lisa smiles, that barely grinning. So unless the Mandela effect happened before that, that one passes. On a serious note, in 2012 or July 4th, 2022, could we have possibly passed into another universe? There's so many examples to choose from. There's even been examples where people have died in our first universe and now they're saying that they have recently just passed away. Why I can't think of no examples right now, y'all know exactly what I be talking about. And if you have any examples, please let me know in the comments. Like, and I'm going to put some down there as well. Y'all please let me know what y'all think in the comments about the Mandela Effect. It's crazy. Spam up if y'all want a part two, cause I got so much more for y'all, it's crazy. Man, I'm about to really tell y'all how they fucking trick everybody, man. Watch this, how they head trick everybody. I don't want you to think about this, man. You ever went, you ever prayed to God and, and you say in Jesus' name, amen? Dog, these people are so slick that they put it in your face and they cast a spell on you. You know, a lot of people, they don't go straight to God. They go to Jesus, the Holy Ghost, all that. Right? And I, I ain't really with the religion stuff. You know what I'm saying? Not no more. But because I, I, I didn't a, I'm i able to see the bull, the bull, the, the BS, you The third eye. Now watch this. God, please let me uh, be a football player when I grow up. In Jesus' name, amen. Now watch this. <laughs> well, look, 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 look what I just did. Yeah. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm praying to amen. Man. When I can go straight to God. You see how they do it? They give you the truth. They mix it with a lie. Yeah, pray to Jesus. Amen. And not God, a spirit. Man, this shit crazy. Maybe you're aware of this and maybe you're not aware of this. But if you go back to your calendar in October of 1582, you will notice that there are 10 days that are missing from that calendar. And the reason why is because at the time, those days were dropped in order to bring the vernal equinox to March 21st. Well, this phenomena actually has an impact on even our time today because that was also the time that the Gregorian calendar was switched over, which means we are 26 seconds from the solar year. That means every single solar year that has passed, it is more discrepancies on our calendar. So this is not really the time that we think that it is. As a matter of fact, by the year 4909, the Gregorian calendar will be a full day ahead of the solar year, which leads me to one question. If we know now that this is an inaccurate time that we're living in, 
Why do you think that has not been fixed? Yeah, it go deep, man. Once you start looking into that, yo, what's the inevitable? They feel like whatever they change can stop what's what's to come, y'all. What we've been discussing on the channel and stuff. They've been trying to figure out many different ways to stop it. How y'all feel in the comments down below? That like a snake to me. Cousin pointed that out. That like a snake. Look at that, like a boa constrictor. Crazy. You can suspect your DNA is being targeted by a release of aluminum into the atmosphere through trails. A systematic spreading of a substance that triggers a genetic response. Cases in New York, California, across the country. While right here in Washington, immunity to common germs is breaking down and flooding our city hospitals. What they're trying to tell y'all? On, on the Kia commercial. <laughs> huh. I think Kia. we went too high. Kia. And the yeah, how serious is this monkey flu? Not serious at all. Because it's not true. <laughs> See, the government likes to covertly test the emergency response system every once in a while to see how people mobilize, the authorities respond, and the public react. Wait a minute. So this is just a drill? Exactly. They do it all the time. Remember so... Hey, man, look. Ice Cube, man, look. Shout out to you, bro. Like, I really do appreciate you and your work and what you've done for the community, bro. Like... We can't, I can't express my gratitude enough for you. There's a lot of things that you do off of the internet that people are not even too much aware of, you know? And just shout out to you, man. Like, it takes a lot of courage to be in the industry and to, to, to place things in the public site like that, man. To, 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 you know, not just wake people up, just to inform people on what's going on and how things really work, you know? But yeah, shout out to you, bro, if you ever see this. A number of things that uh, I've heard uh, from people in the Pentagon that the buzzword in the, in the secret of secrets in the Pentagon is uh, the Sumerian gods are returning. And that's what they're referring to is that whole area uh, uh, that, that Peter. Wow. Was. Can you repeat that again just in case anybody missed it? The well, buzzword uh, in. In the Pentagon, in the, you know, the military circles that are in the know about the cover up here, um, the. They kind of, in whispered tones, talk about the return of the Sumerian gods, and they're talking about the uh, what we would call aliens or fallen angels returning uh, into the Middle East, uh, into old Sumer area. The Anunnaki. Well, could be. Under the other that, ancient names. Do yeah. you think that has anything to do with why we're in Iraq? Dream. Oh well, um, when I saw the uh, State of the Black Union, Dick Gregory really moved me and a lot of my friends. I show it to everybody that comes over the house, especially white folks, because they need to hear that, you know, so that they know more about all of us. Because uh, what he said affects all of us. He said something that really hit home about um, this phenomena of chemtrails. You know, when I was a kid, I used to see these trails in the sky all the time. And I said, oh, that's cool. A jet just went over. And then you started to see a whole bunch of them. 
And next thing you know, everybody in your neighborhood was fighting and arguing and you didn't know why. Okay, and, and you really didn't know why. I mean, everybody was fighting. So he, he started riffing about the chemtrails and he started to say things that uh, hit home so hard. And I would recommend that everybody try to get what he said online or wherever and try to get a copy of it and just listen to it. Mm -hmm. Because the, uh, I was so moved that I had to write the song. The other thing is the first line of the song says I was born uh, on the same plantation in the United States of the red, white, and blue. And we live in a place now that feels just about like a plantation. We're all indentured servants, you know. Um, when I found out there were eight presidents before George Washington, I wanted to smack somebody. Mm -hmm. You know, I wanted to know why I was taught otherwise. Just tell me the whole story. I'll fill in the blanks, but don't, right. you know, don't tell me something that you think I'm supposed to know. We're indentured servants and we got a black president now? Hmm. I don't vote. I don't have nothing to do with it. I got no dog in that race. Hey, look, niggas be asking the question, bro. Like, they be getting uncomfortable when people be talking like that on TV. Because one of the things is, man, y'all got to understand the people, the old people that are on TV that, quote unquote, you can identify with, they're pussy. They don't, they can't stand up on their own because they're being paid by these companies, man, to say other things and to spin stories, spin narratives, you know, but hey, Prince was hit, man. Why y'all think, why y'all think he was a target, man? The man was healthy. What y'all think happened? Stop playing. Same thing with Michael Jackson. It was both on the same shit. There's been a very interesting picture of the rest of the pyramids buried underground. And while the picture seems completely fabricated, it may be based in just a little bit of truth. In the 1900s, an opening was discovered that led underneath the pyramids called the Osiris Shaft. The shaft consisted of three layers that went about 100 feet deep. And in the third layer, archaeologists discovered a tunnel that would go even deeper, but they weren't allowed to excavate it so we don't know where it would have taken them. It seems to be a worldwide trend, whether you're in the catacombs of Paris or digging around buildings in the US, there seems to always be more answers or more history underneath us. Right. <laughs> it honestly blows my mind how nobody is talking about this. Watch this video, pay attention closely to this man right here, if you can even call him a man. Like a lizard. You wanna fly commercial so that you can fly in luxury? How much money did you pay for Tyler Perry's Gulfstream jet, for example? Well, for example, that's really none of your business, but... Isn't it the business of your donors? It's, wow. I paid. <laughs> the airplane that we have that I bought from Tyler Perry, oh, and I didn't pay anywhere in it. Tyler's one of the greatest guys. He made it. He made that airplane so cheap for me, I couldn't help but buy it. I love your eyes. Again, getting back to the comment, you said that you don't like to fly commercial because you don't want to get into a tube with a bunch of demons. Do you really believe that human beings are demons? No, I do not. And don't you ever say I did. That nigga's a lizard, y'all. See his eyes? Look, there it is. It's going to show it. It's going to show it. Boom, Look, separate. There's one. There's one. There. Where two. is number two? It's there. Oh, oh, there it is. Right there. It just showed number two. One and two, Chasey. Look. That's freaking insane. That is freaking insane. This is the second video that called this. So when they spraying, they putting them thin ass layer of clouds up there. They trying to reflect some stuff. Also, they trying to hide the different celestial bodies that's out there, y'all. I'm telling you. Come on, camera. There it goes again. I 
I want to know how they did it. How did they get a fake sun up in the, 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 in the atmosphere to do this? I want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. Look, 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 look. But this ain't, this is clearly not Photoshop. We're sitting in a freaking parking lot. I ain't gonna lie, she sound like she don't know how to use Photoshop, so I, I do believe you, ma'am. So I'm back out here again, because I want to catch it again. Look at that. I just wish it would focus better. See that over there? Look at that. Not a lens flare. That's a lens flare. Look at that right there. She don't even notice it. There we go. Boom. Already see one. Already see one. See it up there to the right? Mm -hmm. Isn't that gorgeous? They're side by side. You see them? I'm going to zoom in. Well, she on their ass, though. That's crazy. There's one. Right there. There's the other one right here. And there's the second one. Can you tell me I ain't seeing this? Because video don't lie. Video don't lie. So there's the second one. The first one's already coming out from the clouds. And now that one's coming out from the clouds. It's freaking crazy. Oh my God. Does that look like a dragon or am I the only one? Jesus. So like I said, things are getting more strange out here, man, but you know about the chemtrails man they're covering up a lot of things with that man but we got to think man we're having an aluminum shortage and then they're spraying the chemtrails and bruh imagine what that's doing to people but look what was prince was talking about uh when they had the chemtrails and they're spraying over the uh over the neighborhoods right and people started acting crazy now look y'all go watch this show it's on amazon prime it's called project blue book it's about the blue beam shit. It's about all of that stuff. But it's about and it's and it's based off of true events about what happened within the government and them trying to cover up things and them trying to engineer things to for their own benefit. But it also shows in that series, and these are based off of true events. They was having a military exercise. They tested it out on the soldiers and stuff first. The soldiers were like going crazy and attacking each other and stuff like that that's because they sprayed those chemicals over the over them and that's when they learned how to manipulate behaviors based off of chemicals and then that's when they started to do it to the public so it is what it is though y'all go do y'all research man hopefully y'all enjoyed this video right here man for my inquisitive people out here make sure y'all doing your own research don't listen to me nobody else Believe in yourself, man. Your feelings are your feelings, and you know how you feel. Go out here and take over the world, man. Become something great. Become something better than yourself. Become something bigger than yourself. You know, that's what we raise our awareness and our consciousness, and we're trying to do that together. I'm not the smartest person, but neither are you. We all learning this together, and we all going to grow together. But I love y'all. Like I always say, spread love because it's too much hate in this world. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. And I'm out, though. Fly. Dropping the album, too.